your prophet he said something truthful about you as a Muslim girl not about non-Muslim girls he said naqisatu aqlin wa deen your prophet he claimed that you are half a brain and because you are half a brain you will go to hell and because you are half a brain the majority of you are the inhabitants of all. and the question is as long men Muslim men are brave where are they if we go in the war you disappear and you run if we go in peace you disappear and you run if we say when I debate you in the internet you disappear and you run and then you claim that we are running away from you me myself I was in the American army where you been we go to Iraq, Saddam Hussein, he hide under the, the, the pillow, in the basement. We go to Afghanistan, you know, Osama bin Laden, he hide between the goats. We go to Syria, ISIS leader, he hide you know, between goats and the zucchini. And then our dogs get him. Where is the Muslim man? The terrorist, the scary ones. They attack women, they attack civilians, they attack kids. When our real men come to you, you run. But look what your prophet said about you, Sarah. He said, Oh women, the majority of you will go to hell. The majority of women in Islam, they will go to hell. Read carefully. You should give a charity. Huh? Okay, well, prophet, why? Because the majority of you, because I have seen you, that the daughter of the hell are the majority women. Do you see it? This is you. Allah promotes masculinity, while Christian promotes femininity. Okay, let us talk about this. You see, I was going to leave. This is, by the way, this is Al-Amin. He changed his name and he came as a female. This is the same person, but I'll, but I will use his comment for the benefit. As long as you are saying this, if this is true, how come we have real men you don't? Is it a real man is the one who beat his wife? The answer no, only cowards. Men who they cannot fight with men out, they go and they take their stress from outside and they beat their wives. That is Muslim men. True or not? True or not? A real man, he will never beat a woman. A real Muslim man, he beat a woman. It's an order in the Quran. So Islam teach the opposite. Secondly, you're a prophet, he put eyeliner three times a day. Why? He want to be pretty. You're a prophet, he dye his hair. What hair? He want to be blonde. He want to be blondie. You're a prophet. He pissed like a woman. And you're a prophet. He wear women clothes. And you are talking about feminine? And not only that. You're a prophet. He enjoy kissing men and men kissing him down his belly. Show me how Christianity encourages us, encourage us to be feminine. Challenge you. Where? How? Huh? Is that your prophet talking about? How a man was kissing him down his belly? Is that a feminine man or a man? Is that a tradition in Islam that a man, he kiss a man down his belly and the other man, he left up his t-shirt and they get naked and they start touching each other? And the other guy, he says to him, don't stop, this is how I like it. Who is the feminine? Huh? Isn't it your prophet, he says, I never received revelation unless I am in the clothes of Aisha? Who is the feminine? And hold on, what is the punishment of somebody who is a gay in Islam? Read carefully. A, fee, a, 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 a homosexual imam, he was leading a prayer in the time of the Caliphate, Abu Bakr. The Muslims, they came to the Caliphate and they said, he is tempting us. <laughs> he is what? He is tempting us. Let me show you the hadith. Here we go. Sahih al-Bukhari. So don't tell me this is a weak hadith. 
I went to Uthman ibn Affan while he was be signed, which means he became the caliphate. I said to him, you are the chief of the Muslims in general, and you see what fell into you. We led by a salat, a prayer of a leader of al-fitna, trials, affliction, etc. And we are afraid of being sinful in following him. Okay, what does that mean? I mean, what fitna, what is that? What happened? He's talking about what exactly? What the problem with this, this sheikh? The sheikh who is leading the prayer, Sheikh Uthman. Huh? What happened? In following him, Uthman, he said, as salat, the prayer is the best of the deeds. So when the people do good deeds, do the same. With them, when the bad deeds, when they do bad deeds, avoid it. Okay, sound good. As Zuhari, he said, in my opinion, listen carefully, in my opinion, one should not offer salat behind a feminine person. Are you there, Al Amin, who became Sarah? He changed his gender. Are you there? Who is the one encouraging effeminate? Are you there? Black this coward, Al Amin, who changed his gender to Sarah. You think if he changed his gender, we will not know it is him. So the one who supports such a thing is Islam, and here the caliphate is saying that, so what if he is homosexual? Pray behind him. And not only that, here you must ask yourself, the hypocrite who can complain. It says here that this person is a feminine man, right? Okay. So why they are tempted? Anyone can tell me? Al-fitna, trial, affliction, etc. So if they, you know, they are tempted by the ass of a homosexual. That's mean the one is complaining he is a homosexual too. Correct? The guy is afraid that he, the, the believers will be tempted. Okay, how? I and mean, she is a girl wearing a short skirt? No, it's a guy. So how the believers will be tempted by a gay? Unless all of them they are gays. Do you see the hypocrisy of this religion? Do you see the stupidity? All of them they are. Actually, if, I, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will die laughing. The whole, the whole tribe of Muhammad is homosexual. A real man will not be tempted if a man bent over in front of him. I mean, how in the world that will happen? Unless the one behind, he himself is the gay. <laughs> this is why they don't dare to talk to me. They don't dare to debate me. Oh, are you sure you had your face? With mouth, with, I will show my face. You are doing poop on your panty. So what if I show my face? I will scare the hell of you. Cowards. I'm surprised, actually. You did not say why you don't show your bum. Because it looks like you're interested in the bum, not in the face. Yeah, what about Dahil Kalbi? The boyfriend of Muhammad. Allah, he sent Jibreel in the look of Dahil Kalbi. Why? Because well, Dahil Kalbi is all the night with, with Muhammad. So Muhammad, how he can explain to his wives that how this guy, he keep coming and spending the night with him. He said to him, hey, this is Jibreel. Jibreel, he took the look of Dahil Kalbi. Why? He is out of look. How good looking he is. <laughs> Oh boy. Anyway, don't forget to download the video. As you know, we don't keep them for long. And soon we'll announce to you when we have our channel about the Bible so you can join us. And uh, what happened to the channel Quality of Life? Nothing. We, we talk about many topics. I don't know. There's not more to talk. I think there's more important things in life, more than stuff we talk about here. I believe that fighting the cult of Islam is more important. We did our part there. And... Uh, if you notice, just to let you know, I mean, you keep, guys, you keep asking what happened to that one. We open there, we have like 300 people go there. Why? We open here, we have 2,000 people here. Why? So don't complain. Obviously, here it's more needed. And I believe teaching the Bible is way more important than, you know, uh, personal questions. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. And don't forget, always your support is, is good. And the best way to support what we do 
is downloading our videos, adding subtitles to your language. You can make them short, share them with Muslims in different, you know, different countries, different languages. Let them see how stupid this cult is. Take reference, take notes, because time will come and Christian Prince will not appear in, in YouTube no more. Why? Because simply I might die. I mean, it's normal, isn't it? All of us, we will die. And then the Muslim, they will gain victory, by the way. <laughs> Allah Akbar, Allah killed him. Brother, did he? <laughs> Don't you think it's too, too, too late? I mean, this Allah, he waited until I wrote all my books. And I demolish Islam by thousands and thousands of videos. And then he will kill me? Allah Akbar. Allah killed him. Hey, brother, who killed the Prophet Muhammad? Allah? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who made the Prophet Muhammad stink? Allah? <laughs> mean the stinky Prophet was stinky by the permission of Allah? What kind of God does God is? I mean, come on, can't you put him in the refrigerator? You're Allah. He could not stop the nature. When Muhammad he says our body will not decay. Couldn't Allah protect his prophet from being exposed with his lies? At least for three days? But guess what? The Muslims they did not bury Muhammad for three days because they thought he is the same as Jesus. They believed the coward. And then he stink. He stink. The stinky Muhammad. And here we expose the stinky Muhammad and all the stinkies who try to defend his lies. They stink with their lies. And this is why they run away from debating us. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. Thanks for everybody. Thanks for those who support us in Patreon too. We appreciate your help. And remember, we are giving our books for free. And uh, the purpose of giving the books for free, not because we are rich, we are absolutely are not, but because it's way more important to give and save millions from making pennies or making a lot of money. It's way more important to give our books for free. And I, I will try to find it in different website then. But here it says, so they waited until his the prophet, his belly, his stomach became so big like a pregnant woman. So Abu Bakr, he says, the one who used to worship Muhammad, when well, Muhammad, he died. And the one who worship Allah, Allah is alive, he don't die. Because here the Muslim, they became a chaos. Muhammad, he told them that his body will not decay. He promised that, and this is authentic. And then, less than three days after, Muhammad, his skin turning turn to turn into different color, his stink and his belly, his stomach is full of fart. And then when the fart became too much, or the gas became too much in the belly, then that stomach will start releasing the fart because there's no more space, which means the dead body will start releasing uh, th this bad smell. Uh, let me see if I can find uh, a website a link I can post because this link here have Arabic word let us see <clears throat> this one have Arabic words too see the problem here if you look with me in the top there's Arabic words in the in the in the uh, in the link so now the only way I can do it for you I will take it and I will try to shorten the link Okay, and let us see if it's going to work. Because when you post a link, have Arabic words, Google will not accept. All right, I will post the link for you. Tell me, guys, if it's going, if it's working. So you will find it. You can count with me how many lines you see in the screen. One line, two line, three line, four line, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so you can translate it from the nine or yeah, from the nine here. 
فقال فتربصوا حتى ربى بطنه تربصوا مين؟ they waited until his stomach became so big full of fart this is the end of Muhammad full of fart you know? and I changed in a Muslim to say to me I'm lying you see this is the book of At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra do you remember the sheikh who he claimed to be a sheikh he called me he says read read At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra here this is At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra Muhammad ibn Sa'ad volume number two page number two seven one fair and square they cannot say we are making things up this is their books respected books and those books are written by Muslims you know and it's not translated I don't know if this book is translated or not yet I wish you can click at Google I don't know how Google will translation will come <clears throat> because there's some Arabic words here are very difficult for software to translate maybe the page could not be translated to try again let us try again okay uh, so here it says so they waited uh, the prophet he was arrested <laughs> I mean, translation of Google is really horrible. The prophet was arrested. <laughs> the guy is dead. He was arrested by the Taliban. <laughs> no, it doesn't say he was arrested. It says he stink. His sorry, his his belly full of fart. So translation of Google again is not really a good translation. But what we can do, you know? Yeah, garbage in, garbage out. <clears throat> Uh, uh, Kamal, you see, you are in the wrong place. Don't come here again. You claim to be a Hindu. You don't dare to call me. And you are stupid. And you are here coming to call people names and curse them. <laughs>